Creatine is known for its ability to significantly enhance strength and muscle gain when used optimally, and it brings about various changes in the body. I can attest to its effectiveness from personal experience, having used creatine for over eight years and witnessing its impact on hundreds of clients and students. Creatine is an amino acid naturally found in our bodies, with 95% stored in muscle cells. It primarily supplies energy to muscles, enabling increased muscle power during strength and endurance training. While our bodies naturally produce creatine, the amount is relatively small and not sufficient for maximum performance, which is where creatine supplements come into play, boosting levels to their peak. But how exactly does creatine improve athletic performance? And what about the side effects often mentioned, such as weight gain, water retention leading to increased blood pressure, and kidney issues? Are they real? Stay with me until the end of the video to clear up all doubts and learn the ins and outs of creatine. I promise to share some invaluable insights gained from practical experience, ensuring it's well worth your time. Currently, Let's focus on the incredible benefits that creatine supplements can bring to your exercise routine. A study from 2023 shows that adding creatine to your diet boosts your strength and increases your lean muscle mass, especially during demanding activities like weightlifting and high-intensity exercises. Interestingly, these benefits tend to be more pronounced in younger individuals, aged 20 to 26, though they produce excellent effects at any age. Scientists suggest this is because creatine optimizes the way the body uses energy during physical activity, and as younger individuals tend to have more energy available, the effect is more intense, thus promoting more significant muscle growth. Creatine is recognized as one of the most effective supplements for increasing strength and performance in power-demanding movements. This is because the energy provided by adenosine triphosphate ATP, is essential for such exercises. A study tracking a six-week training program showed that creatine use could increase the weight lifted in isolation exercises like biceps or shoulders by up to 10% every two weeks. Amazing, right? Another research found that creatine significantly improves maximum strength in exercises like squats and bench presses, as these compound exercises strengthen several muscles simultaneously, optimizing your strength increase faster. In the case of endurance sports, Creatine seems to have a lesser impact, as these activities rely less on rapid ADP regeneration due to their lower intensity. However, there is still potential benefit here. Creatine can optimize your training sessions, allowing you to train for longer periods. This, in the long term, will contribute to an improvement in your performance and generate increasingly better results, as you can train more. Now let's talk about those who are lean and aim to gain more muscle mass. Creatine will be your best ally to accelerate muscle gains. When it comes to the body weight increase associated with creatine use, many are surprised to learn that this gain is not just for muscle building, but also due to water retention in the muscles. Yes, it's true. Starting supplementation with creatine can lead to an increase of 2 to 5 kilograms in the first week, and this happens because muscles begin to store more water. But hold on. You might think that retaining water in the muscles sounds like a negative thing, but in reality, it's a positive aspect for muscle development and is essential for creatine to fully act. However, this water does not stay under the skin like bad retention. This creatine retention occurs inside the muscle cells, which leads to an increase in strength and muscle volume. This retention prepares the ground for healthy muscle growth without side effects. This effect increases strength and endurance, meaning you can intensify your workouts more and more and build more muscle over time. And here's an interesting fact. Muscle weighs more than fat, so gaining a modest amount of muscle while losing fat can actually make the number on the scale go up or even stay the same if you have an excess of body fat. But as you gain more muscle and eliminate fat, your body becomes more defined and the water weight becomes less noticeable. So, the answer is yes, creatine can lead to weight gain, but it's a process that significantly favors improving body composition. In other research, it was found that creatine supplementation can be an important ally in the recovery process of athletes after injuries. Incredible, right? A 25% faster improvement was identified compared to athletes who did not use creatine. Additionally, creatine has antioxidant properties that can be particularly useful after intense resistance workouts, helping to alleviate cramps and accelerate muscle recovery. It also works in reducing abdominal cramps and optimizing the rehabilitation of brain and bodily injuries. Beyond these benefits related to physical performance and injury recovery, 
there are other possible health benefits linked to creatine consumption. A notable example is the improvement in cases of muscular dystrophy, which we will talk about more later. But creatine has even more applications to be explored. And an important piece of information is that creatine deficiency is linked to a variety of health conditions, such as fibromyalgia and osteoarthritis. So, creatine not only benefits athletes but also people with various physical limitations, making them more capable and alleviating symptoms. Although there is a possibility that creatine supplementation may offer relief for these issues, more research is still needed to confirm its efficacy as a treatment for most of these conditions, even though there are several practical cases of improvement and evolution. Another potential benefit of creatine that is still being explored is the reduction of heart disease risk, as this improvement has been observed in thousands of people. Although creatine is widely recognized for its benefits in physical performance and muscle recovery, its potential application in more specific health conditions suggests a vast field of possibilities that deserves attention and requires additional studies for effective proof. In various cases, people with muscular dystrophy have lower creatine reserves, which may be related to muscle weakness. The treatment with creatine, both short and medium term, has been well accepted by individuals with muscular dystrophies. Research suggests benefits from taking creatine daily for 8 to 16 weeks for muscular dystrophy with a minimum dose of 5 grams per day. When it comes to symptoms related to muscle loss, there is another condition that benefits from the effects of creatine, Parkinson's disease. One of the common symptoms of this disease is decreased muscle capacity, reflecting in lower muscle mass, reduced strength, and increased fatigue. And it was identified that people with Parkinson's disease who consumed creatine were able to improve their exercise capacity and endurance, significantly improving their quality of life. Creatine supplementation also had a positive impact on the mood of all participants and reduced the need for medication compared to those who did not take the supplement. As we are seeing, it is an incredible and essential supplement in our life, right? Regarding the side effects of creatine, generally, creatine is considered a safe supplement. Although there are some reports about negative effects with its use, it has been proven that the people already had pre-existing diseases and that because they were using creatine, when it get tested after a few weeks of use and blamed creatine, which was not true. Therefore, if you have any chronic disease or any limitation, I recommend consulting a doctor to undergo tests and checking with a nutritionist if it is possible to use creatine in relation to your specific case to ensure there is no impediment. The International Society of Sports Nutrition provides clear guidance on how to use creatine monohydrate safely and efficiently. The plan starts with a loading phase, where you take 0.3 grams of creatine per kilogram of your body weight daily, for a period of 7 days. This amount should be divided into up to 3 doses throughout the day to facilitate absorption. After this initial phase, you move on to the maintenance phase, taking 5 to 8 grams of creatine every day. For those of you who stayed until the end of the video, here's an extra piece of information that is essential for those thinking of using creatine with a focus on maximum performance. In the world of supplements, you'll find a huge variety of options, and not all are created equally. My recommendation is to opt for creatine monohydrate. Although there are many other types of supplements out there trying to grab your attention, many are nothing more than products of questionable quality, so always choose the most trusted brands that you already know. Pre-workout supplements, for example, promise to contain creatine and various other nutrients, but in reality, many do not contain the minimum necessary for you to see any results. Therefore, the form of pure creatine powder is your best bet. It's economical and easy to mix with food and beverages, ensuring that you get a pure amino acid with the highest efficiency. Always pay attention to the label to ensure that there's nothing but creatine monohydrate. So, if I helped you, Leave your like and subscribe here on the channel for many valuable tips that will help you achieve your best result. See you soon.